Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be showing how we can use Iron menu and Split Men menu in Ionic. So this is the side menu, and this is the view in Android. We can open this menu by clicking on button as well. So let's just see what is menu. The menu component is a navigation drawer that slides in from the side of the current view. By default, it slides it from the left, but the side can be overridden. The menu will be displayed differently based on the mode. However, the display type can be charged to any the available menu type, and it should be sibling of the root content element. So this line means that we will write our menu in the app dot view file. That is because it will be the sibling of the root content. So this is the usage we will be coming toward it. First of all, let's just see properties. We have the content ID, in which we will be providing the content ID to the menu. Then disabled, we can disable the menu. Then max edge start. Then menu ID. Then the side. From which side we want our menu to get open? Then swipe gesture. This is the swipe gesture. That is, I am dragging the menu by just clicking the screen. Then type. We have three types: overlay, reveal, and push. Then we have some methods: close, open, toggle, etc. We also have some CSS shadow properties and some CSS custom properties. So let's just begin by using the Menu in our app. As I have told that the menu element should be a sibling to the root content element, so I will be writing my menu code in the app dot u file. So I will be simply copying the usage given over here. I am just telling the easiest way to use the menu. The Ionic framework documentation has already provided it, so we can just copy and paste, and we can manipulate the code according to our need. But the basic usage is like this. So I will just paste it in the app dot view file. I will provide my ID in the router outlet, the content ID I have used, like this. And I will be importing all the UI component that I have used in the menu. That is the iron item, the iron list, content, header, toolbar, title, menu itself. This is the best practice to always import and export the component used. Otherwise, you will get some warnings in the Console to avoid these warnings, we should follow the best practices. Just save it, and uh, the usage doesn't stop over here. Now we have to use this on the page in which we want our menu to get opened. First of all, I will be just giving some name to my item to look it a little bit realistic. I don't want any color, so I'm just removing it. But this is the way of providing color to color to the toolbar of my menu. Now I want my menu to get displayed on this page, so I will be going on this page in the toolbar just before the title. I will be using the iron menu button. 
bitter slot start to get my menu opened on this page the iron menu button itself will give a hamburger iron to my button and in this way we can use our menu on this page this refresh our page and we are able to see a hamburger menu button and we can close this menu by clicking on the content of our page the second way will be how to open this menu on clicking the button and this is the way how we can how we can change the side of the menu previously i have used start then the end will view like that now we will be seeing how we can open the menu by clicking the button so i will be using a button in the content where i want that i should click and the menu should open so i will be using the iron button for this and i will simply give it a some name like open menu and i will be using the expand block property to my iron bit iron button to open the menu i will be creating a method like this and will be using on the click of the button that we have created so we will be going in the method and i will be creating a method open menu by using the menu controller dot open just import the menu controller and use it in the click of the button so we can see that the menu is getting opened on the click of the button these are the two ways to open the menu by using the hamburger and by using the uh, by clicking the iron button this is just a usage of iron button but if we want uh, that we have to open the menu on a different uh, ionic component then we can use the click on that component as well so this is the second way now i will be showing how i can create a menu component i have just created a folder menu folder component in which i have created a file menu.view which will be the menu component and i will be just copying the menu code that i have written in the app.view file and i will paste that code in this file just remove the menu code and paste it in the menu component that we have created
so i will just import and export the ui component again the same line follow the best practice for using any ui component just save this component and i will be using this menu component in my app dot u file like this in i will be importing this component in the file then i will be using and then i will be exporting as well so this is the basic or simplest way to use any component we can create any component and we can use it like this not just menu but we can create any component and use like this components are created so that we can reuse them a code that can be reusable we can store it in any component and we can reuse it by calling this component on that page next is the ion split pane so ion split pane is useful when creating multiple view layout so it is basically a menu that is stuck in the uh, in the page and we can click on every um, menu page title given there and we will be navigated to that page it also had content id and it has when that is the width when the split pen should be viewed so this is used like this we can simply write ion split pane and we can enclose our menu and ion routlet ion router outlet in the split pane just to give a content id main to the split pane and when i want it to be at lg lg is having 992 pixel width that is our split pane will be viewed at 992 pixels just import the split pane and save it we are able to see a split pane this is what split pane is now we can adjust this width by a predefined variable like this these are few custom css properties and i will be using the side width so this is the way we are split pane is created and when the 992 pixels is decreased when the size of the screen is decreased the split pane will automatically collapse and an iron button will be viewed and we can open the menu in iron button sorry iron menu button the hamburger menu button so next we will be seeing how we can view a split pane and a side view menu in the same page so i will be creating a menu component that i want to view on the side of this page so i will just giving a side menu name and i will be replicating the whole menu only 
I will be just changing the name. Right now we are not able to see the menu over there. I want another menu button in the side of my toolbar, in the end of my toolbar. So I will be providing us the end slot to it. I will be using, I will be using the side menu like this. I will be providing a content ID as well to it. Import the menu that we want to view in the end slot and export similarly like we do with all the components that we uh, use I will be providing a unique content ID and this ID I will be using in the iron content of this page Next, I will be using menu property the start for the first uh, menu and end for the end menu. So we can see that our menu at the end is getting opened and our split pane is also there. Just rename the title and remove few of the items and it is viewing like this. We can do the background transparent as well by overriding this backdrop property of our iron menu. So just go to style. And this is the way to override the uh, backdrop property of our iron menu. I will be changing the background color to transparent. So it is looking like this. We are having split pane and a side menu in the same page. And both are working completely fine. Next we will be seeing how we can view split pane only on one page. I don't want another pages to be having the split pane. I only want it to be on the de on the demo page or on the demo page or on the home page. Now we can see that we are having it on demo and home both. I just want it to be on one page. So for this, I will be using V show property, V show condition. So I will be creating. A show menu method in the computed like this and here I will be pointing towards the root of home where I want my split pane to be viewed. I only want it on home. So I have pointed towards the root of the home. Now I will be calling this computed method on the menu using the V show. Just save this and go back to the browser. We are not able to see it on the demo. Now I will be going towards the home page. We are able to see the split pane over here. And we are not able to see it on the demo. 
so this is the way we can use menu and split pane menu in ionic 